Green Island and Don Gallen, Youth Under 14s met in a mouth watering fixture in the NIBFA Cup. Both teams were wearing their familiar colours. That's Green Island in the maroon and sky blue trim and Dungannon in the yellow and blue. The game started at a frantic pace as Green Island attacked down the left side. Good play from their number 14. Callum McCoy set up a chance for their number 9. Corey Moore but his effort was cleared. Only four minutes into the game and Dungannon had their first real attacking move. The chance fell to their number seven, Luke Bean, who shot from the edge of the area and it was deflected behind for a corner. Only a minute later and Dungannon were attacking down the right wing. Brandon Downey did ever so well. He cut the ball back but he couldn't find a teammate this time. On seven minutes, we seen the first goal of the game. Green Island had a corner from the left wing. Their number two, Evan Hall, swung the ball into the box. It fell for their number eight, Shea Riley, and he hammered into the top left corner. 1-0 to Green Island after seven minutes. On 15 minutes, Dungannon were attacking down the right wing. Their number 19, Aaron Ellis, was showing his pace. He cut off the right wing and his curling effort went wide of the left post. On 17 minutes, Green Island attacked down the left wing. Good play from their number 6, Alex Watson, set up a shooting opportunity for Callum McCoy. His effort was saved behind for a corner. With 28 minutes played and the first half coming towards its conclusion, Dungannon then levelled when their number 19, Aaron Ellis, showed his pace. He kept his composure as the Green Island goalkeeper came off his line, but he fired hard and low and into the net. 1-1, now the scoreline. So there we have the referee's half-time whistle. Half-time scoreline, it was Green Island 1, Dungannon Youth 1. Into the second half we go and Dungannon started it brightly. It took them four minutes to have a shot. Their chance fell for their number five, Luke McAllister. However, his effort went wide off the left post. Only two minutes later and Green Island then had a decent shooting opportunity themselves. The chance fell to their number 14, Callum McCoy, who done well to hold off his man before getting the shot away. Seven minutes into the second half and ten men Dungannon took the lead against the odds when their number 20, Ryan Lindsay, headed home at the back post to give Dungannon a 2-1 lead. Only three minutes later and Green Island responded in what was turning out to be a great cup tie. Their number 14, Callum McCoy, had a right foot finish which went into the bottom left corner. With the cup tie all to play for, the next chance of the game fell to Dungannon's number 19, Aaron Ellis, who had a long-range strike from the edge of the box. With 17 minutes played in the second half, Dungannon then took the lead with only 10 men. They scored from this long range free kick from Ryan Lindsay after the Green Island goalkeeper Blake Henry just wrong footed himself. At this stage of the game, Dungannon were playing some beautiful football and their confidence was high. Their number 8, Danny Hall, set up the chance for their number 19, Aaron Ellis, but his first time volley went wide of the right post. With full time approaching, Dungannon were searching for yet more goals and the next chance fell to their number 7, Luke Bean, however his effort went wide of the left post. With three minutes remaining in the cup tie, Green Island then scored the equaliser. Their number six and captain, Alex Watson, scored with this long-range strike. So there we have the referee's full-time whistle in this NIBFA cup fixture. It finished Green Island 3, Dungannon Youth 3. 
now to a period of extra time where there will be two periods of 10 minutes. In extra time, the first real chance we had was in the first minute. Dungannon had a free kick. Their number eight, Danny Hall, took the free kick, but the Green Island goalkeeper, Blake Henry, tipped it over the crossbar. With three minutes played in extra time, Green Island then scored to make the scoreline 4-3. Their number six, Alex Watson, kept his composure from 35 yards after the Dungannon goalkeeper, Dylan Glass, was off his line. At this stage of the game, there were tired bodies everywhere. Green Island had the next effort. Their number 16, Cohen Beatty, had an effort which hit the post. The next chance of the game fell to Dungannon's number 19, Aaron Ellis, who had a great game so far. However, his effort was saved on this occasion. So there we have the referee's half-time whistle in extra time. And at half-time, it was 4-3 to Green Island. With five minutes into the second period of extra time, Green Island were next to have a shot. The chance fell to their number two, Evan Hall, but he shot wide of the right post. With only two minutes remaining in the extra time period, Green Island were next to have a shot. The chance fell to their number 14, Callum McCoy, but credit to the Dungannon goalkeeper, Dylan Glass. He tipped the effort over the bar. So there we have the referee's full-time whistle from Allen Park in Antrim and at full-time it finished Green Island 4, Dungannon Youth 3. The game going the distance and it will be Green Island who will progress into the next round of the Cup. Now a chance to hear from both managers. Mark, uh, where do we start after that? But your side defeated 4-3 after extra time. Uh, how would you assess it? I'm um, disappointed on the defeat, but very proud of the boys for the performance they put in. Probably to play um, what, 60, 70 minutes plus extra time with, with only 10 men against a good Green Island side, who are a good, you know, good football inside. Um, just disappointed to get back one each, two, one up, three, two up with maybe six, seven minutes to go, just to not to hold out, you know. Um, it's disappointed, and we're maybe just we were just home. once the to me when 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 extra time there was only probably they were going to get the winner because our boys were dead on their feet like you know so but I just wish we named all the best in the next round and that's that's really it you know some effort with ten men to take it to extra time wasn't it yeah our thought the you know the lot of iron up front was excellent um, they all battled so well everyone you know and we could even. The keeper made a good save in extra time to, you know, to maybe we could have got back to four each, but it wasn't to be. And cup defeat aside, overall, how's the season going? It's going well. It's probably our, it's probably our first defeat since at least this time last year, you know. So um, we're in the, we're still in the um, quarter final of the National League Cup, and we're going well in the league. So it will we'll just have to put it behind us and move on. Grant, uh, you must be delighted there. It took a long time, but Green Island through. Yeah, it was super. It was a great game of football. Um, I thought Dungannon were excellent. You didn't think they had 10 men, but it's unfortunate there had to be one loser that day, but I just thought the boys dug in at the end there just to get us over the line, you know, so top over the moon for them, yeah. And when it went the extra time, what were you thinking? Were you, were, in your head, were you thinking penalties? Uh, more or less, yeah. I was just trying to get them over the line. I just thought with the extra man, it was just... It was going to go in our favour just with the extra man for the fitness and stuff and seeing Dungannon start to get a bit tired and stuff so generally I thought they'd done really well and they dug in and got us over the line, yeah. Uh, you're through the next round of the cup now, just how far can you go on it? Well, it's up to the boys really, isn't it then? Um, put the, you put it on to them and Dungannon's probably one of the top sides you'll play so you put, you, you sort of a, you give yourself a good chance, you know, so it's who he will get it in the next round and take it from there. Uh, very finely overall how's the season going oh super the guys have done really really well they're putting the work in and training and stuff and yeah the, 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 the lads have done really super so they have yeah this year really really well